<laughs> and we can't even have an open conversation <laughs> about flat earthers or not. But like, it's like, okay, uh, people very dumb and we're also extremely <laughs> susceptible, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like any, any like war ever, right? Mm -hmm. You have to convince your people that, that, that you want to fight something. Yeah. yeah. How do you do that? How do you convince a whole population of people? That, I don't know, that, ask Hitler. <laughs> yeah, right? But that's the thing, right? I yeah. believe this was like really well documented after World War II mm. is that like they- Well, what if of... there's a very small but possible chance that you have weapons of mass destruction in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, or I'm, I'm they got gonna... a bit of oil. <laughs> they got a bit of oil. <laughs> Stock prices go boom. You like cars? <laughs> Do you like driving? <laughs> I'll, I'll find the video link. Mudan asked me. There was a, there was yeah. a, I watched this video and it was by this guy. And it was basically talking about how World War II, after World War II, mm. uh, yeah. a few, um, uh, Jewish people who had fled and a few scientists who lived in America, yeah. uh, they were they wanted to study how people could go along with like really bad atrocities in like mm. World War II, mm. right? Oh, what yeah, made yeah. your everyday guy, like a normal dude, just kind of like sign up and be like, okay, we'll, we'll do this. Right? Oh yeah. Like the whole ant, like the Nazi party. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. how they just kind of, you know, and some of the really horrible stuff, how yeah, you could yeah. convince people that this was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? yeah. And it was basically explaining how like, there are like certain traits that one might have, which would make you more susceptible to, to end up doing something like that. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Some personality traits. It was really interesting mm -hmm. because it's stuff that you like, you wouldn't think cor correlates to you. Like you think, oh, I'm, I'm really strong willed. Yeah. But maybe you like strong leaders. Mm -hmm. Strong leader asks you to do bad thing. <laughs> oh, maybe he's justified it in a way that yeah. makes sense, right? Yeah. Like it, it's, I think I think we all like to think that we are like this this impe impe oh, sorry, what's the word? impenetrable impenetrable fortress of mind yeah. that nobody can affect our opinion or, or woo, uh, woo us to do something that we would never do. Yeah, I think in reality we're we're a lot. It more happens fickle, all yeah. the fucking time. I mean, I mean there, there is there is like literally an, a psychological experiment that uh, details. That. I can't remember the exact name of the experiment. Trust this podcast. I remember this thing. Yeah. Can't exactly remember. It. <laughs> roughly went along. No, no, no. But I I I know. Ashley, can you search up the experiment? It's it's. Fuck. I, that's the prisoner one, yeah? No, no it's not, that, it's not that, the prisoner. That's, that's the Stanford, uh, yeah, that's the Stanford one. one. Yeah. Um, no, the- Wait, what, can you explain it? The so one. yeah, they see electricity uh, one. Yeah, yeah. So it's the one where- Authority, it's where you, it's so that they'll basically, they'll uh, they'll tell them that they're zapping Is it someone. Milner's? Is it Milner's experiment? I, I don't know what experiment you're talking about. They'll, they'll <laughs> turn up the electricity because somebody tells them to do it. Yeah. Because they say that it's like a good, but then they have like a fake person screaming. Yeah while they're turning up the electricity oh, yeah. and someone <laughs> keeps telling them to keep doing it yeah. and they keep doing it because a doctor or an authority figure is yeah. telling them to keep doing so it. It's, right, so right. it's basically like fake squid game, right? So yeah. you're you're put into a room. Why? Why? <laughs> Why did you have to bring... <laughs> this is probably like the deepest debate we were ever having. And God is like, it's kind of like a society we live in with yeah. squid game. Like, you could have just said liar game, okay. you know? It's, 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 it's better examples. No, 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 okay. because-, because Ashley is Okay, Ashley. Uh, thank you. It's called the Milgram experiment. Milgram, 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 Milgram. Experiment. Milgram's experiment. That's it. I said Milner. It's Milgram. Basically, the whole thing is framed as a memory exercise, right? Okay. So you, the person who's being who's the uh, being experimented on, basically, uh, you're you're told that you're going to take part in a memory exercise, mm. and you're going to sit in a room with a person next to you, and one of you is going to be the person learning, and one of you is going to be the tester, mm. right? And so what you're told is that. Um, if you are given an electric shock, if you get an answer wrong, then in theory, then you should be a better learner because you're you're doing like shock therapy to yourself. Right, that's what right, you're told. Right. Obviously that's complete bullshit because yeah. this, this experiment's got nothing to do with uh, memory, right? Mm. So one of you by chance is, uh, is the learner, one of you, is the teacher or the experimenter oh, yeah, or, the, right. or the teacher. Mm. But in reality, you're gonna be given the teacher, right? right because right, you're right. the only person who's actually being experimented on, yeah. right? And so the other person who is the learner goes in another room and you have to uh, you have to give them a memory quiz, right? And the, po the, the problem is they're going to get it wrong. And that's part of the design of the experiment, mm -hmm. right? And you're shown, you're, you're, you're given you're, you're given a taste of what the electric shock that they're going to be feeling feels like, right? Yeah. And it's like on the lowest level, yeah. right? And so as, ex as this experiment goes on, originally they get the questions right and then they get one answer wrong. And so you have to administer them an electric shock yeah. and they feel like pain, right? And you mm. hear them feel pain. You don't see it, but you hear them in another room, yeah. even though it's just a pre-recording. Yeah. Um, and then as they get more questions wrong, mm. um, the scientist tells you to up the voltage and administer the yeah. shock, right? And they keep getting it wrong, right? Right, right? And so the scientist keeps telling you to up the voltage 
and keep administering this electric shock until to a point where like they are fucking screaming out in agony or yeah. you can hear them on the speaker screaming out in yeah. agony. And then it gets to a point when it's just silence, right? right, right <laughs> and right. it's just silence. And then um, the scientists keep telling you, just up the voltage, up the voltage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep going, keep going. And like the amount of people who, even though, you know, they were, totally uncomfortable with the fact that they could hear someone screaming from the fact that they were administering, administering this electric shock yeah. and it still went silent. They went all the way up to the end Jeez. and they still administered like the most high voltage in their mind electric shock. What a big to this brain person. experiment. Because we trust authority figures. Holy shit. You know, so and, and, and like it just proved that a lot of, a lot of people more like, you know, the, the majority of people will be willing to listen to a person who they view as a, as an authority figure yeah. to tell them to do something, even if it's like a bad even act. Even if it goes against what yeah, they believe. Even yeah. if it's a horrible act. Yeah. And it's it's, uh, wow. it's a very interesting psychological experiment. Um, I mean, but it, yeah, could, it could be turned into a squid game. It, it, <laughs> that's why I say it, this kind of sounds like a squid game, this right? Has <laughs> nothing to do with it kind of sounds this like has, a squid game. The writers for season two are like, write that down. This literally has nothing to do with squid game. <laughs> squid, squid game season two, Milgram's this, experiment. This has nothing to do with squid game. <laughs> I want to see Milgram's experiment oh and Squid Game season shock two. Game, but it's like actually a shock. <laughs> but and they actually, actually die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but like, see, that's that's just goes to show how you know. There's so many people who say like, I'm not gullible, but we all are to a certain degree because we. I feel we to constantly get told to do things that originally go against what we believe in, or you know, are very easily persuaded by just someone, even if they don't have that much of an authoritative, uh, you know, vibe about them to just be mm -hmm. like, oh, well, I mean, this person who in my mind is more authoritative about this particular subject than I am is saying no, So maybe point, right? I yeah, should, you, you know. just trust them. Yeah, least. like the whole fact that, you know, we have a, f a literal audience of people who will probably change their mind about something we say on this show or something we say on our own channels, <laughs> you know, <laughs> seeing like, Anime's they're like, yeah, this, if so, if I say so-and-so anime sucks, so there's probably a number of people who are like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, he's probably right. Even though I have zero authority over that person, right? It's just scary because, and, and I know that happens because it's hap It's the opposite has happened to me as well, where mm -hmm. I- It to all of us. Yeah, it happens to yeah. all of us, you know? That's the reason why we have conflict. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people are good at persuading people. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, good, you know? I feel, like I feel like we're just breaking down the most fundamental problem about humanity. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you're yeah. not me, I what? Really, we've had like three deep conversations on three episodes in a row now. This is deep taste now. This is like deep talk. Deep taste. Deep, deep taste. <laughs> Deep taste. <laughs> I like why, we, why, why you gonna word it we like went, that? We went from shitty to this. <laughs> why you gonna word it like that? Deep taste, bro. Is deep in fancy font? Yeah. Deep, deep taste. Deep taste. I don't know why that sounds so, so gross. gross. It's not gross. It's, why, it's only gross to make it gross.